and album and review time on Tim's Final Confessions. I'm Tim Durling. Thank you for watching this. Hope you enjoy this series. I'm, I've been enjoying doing this with a, with a few of these now on Fridays, talking about albums that are celebrating a release date anniversary. So back in 2013, this album came out, Deep Purple and Now What, with this sort of I, su I guess the ex the question mark, exclamation mark supposed to represent now what, but it's a little bit confusing. Um, Rufus thinks so too. He doesn't really understand. But this album was significant for Deep Purple. I mean, they'd been around forever and, um, you know, what, what, what new things could happen on a Deep Purple album? Well, there are a few. Of course, sadly, um, there, this was the first Deep Purple album that John Lord was not on because uh, John Lord sadly passed away a year previous. He'd already retired from the band and had been replaced by Don Airy. Don Airy, I mean, he played White Snake and Rainbow. I mean, you know, he's got purple cred, right? He's a member of the purple family, so it's perfect fit. Uh, but the other significant thing is that this is the first time that Deep Purple worked with legendary producer Bob Ezrin. As big a band as Purple was in the 70s, they'd never worked with, with Bob Ezrin. And what did Bob Ezrin do with Deep Purple? I can't really hear Bob Ezrin production in this album or any that followed, but what it seemed to do is revitalize their creative juices because this is the first Deep Purple album to come out since 2005's Rapture of the Deep. So they've still got Steve Morris on guitar and they just, they were touring and touring and touring and touring. And they weren't doing new music. But since this album came out, uh, they since followed it up with Infinite in 2017, Whoosh in uh, 2020 and the covers album Turning to Crime in 2021 and as far as I know they're still going and it'll probably be another Bob Ezrin production. On this album though they come up with a great bunch of songs. Um, you know some of my favorites are you know Out of Hand, Body Line, Uncommon Man, uh, a simple song Weird to Stan, typical uh, Deep Purple lyrics where you don't really know what they're about but you know the, the music is grooving it sounds so unmistakably deep purple mark whatever it is you know in, in their career uh, there's also a very very nice dedication to John Lord it is such a monumental part of their sound and, and just a, a titan in rock history too of course John Lord was also in White Snake as well but uh, souls having touched are forever entwined so yeah death of a legend there for sure but uh, Don Area Worthy Replacement and Deep Purple continued to make great music. So, um, yeah, this is a great place to start if you're not familiar with Modern Day Deep Purple. Now what? Released on this date in 2013. Thanks for watching Tim's Final Confessions. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you later.